last night about a boat. It was pink and green with a stripy mast. It had spotty sails and a golden flag. I said, hey, I had a dream last night. As you know, we lost our dinghy last summer, which we um, talked about in one of the previous episodes. But now we've got a few months before we set sail again. And so now we really need to get the dinghy sorted. Weight is an issue really, like it probably is on most boats. Um, we want the maximum size for the smallest weight, for the smallest um, cost as well, of course. So um, that is why I am looking for them right now. Because we don't want to have too much weight on our Davids because we've got a 15 horsepower engine and um, that's already quite heavy. Woody's now um, reinforcing the actual Davids now because there was a little bit of cracking so he's going to reinforce it and um, and then we've got our solar panels going on but our dinghy needs to hang off the back. So I was going for the one that everyone's been recommending which is a Highfield Ultralight. During my search I realised that there's a, quite a few other companies that do ultralight dinghies so tenders that are about just under three meters with aluminium hulls, solid aluminium hulls. So I found um, Lamina, Lamina um, do ribs, I think that's the same as AB, and they do ribs at 43 kilograms. This is the Lamina, we're looking at the 9.5 aluminium 43 kilograms, takes 15 horsepower, five persons. Nearly 4,000 pounds. Um, they must be good for that. These are all PVC pretty much I think. Um, then there's the 3D tender. They look pretty smart, I'm looking at them now. Um, they're only 31 kilograms and um, that's 290 centimeters um, and that goes for 1830 euros. We've got the Quicksilver aluminium rib which is um, only 1,456 pounds and it's 2.9 and it's 41 kilograms. So I think the Highfield Ultralight is 38 kilograms. So that's only three kilograms more, not so bad. And it takes the 15 horsepower. We've got a Zodiac, a Zodiac 270, slightly smaller than we wanted, um, but that's only 37 kilograms. And that's got an aluminium hull as well, takes 10 horsepower, or you could go up to the 300 um, centimetre which is 1,884 and that's 43 kilograms so you've got 37 or 43 with those two sizes. Zodiac compact one I looked at which has a fold down transom um, it is 300 centimetres long um, PVC 48 kilograms now so it's 10 kilograms more than the Highfield it takes 10 horsepower um, but the advantage of that is that you could actually pack that away as well as having a solid hull I didn't even know you could do that um, so that's what I found out so far. So we are on the lookout now to choose our dinghy, which we want to be lasting us around our world voyage. You and me, we're family. No matter how far away we've grown to be. Okay, so thank you for everybody for watching these videos and thank you for sharing them. Thanks especially to the patrons for um, helping us to get the equipment to create these videos to edit and then produce them and also to get ice creams for the children to keep them out of the way so we've got time to um, create these video vlogs thanks a lot and if you want to do it do it thank you